Hey, what's going on students? Let's do the dandy eight tricks. Which three cannot be factored as a difference of two squares binomial? So to be a difference of two squares, you literally need to be a difference. That's not a good minus sign. You need to be a difference of two things that would be considered squares. If you need help with the list of perfect squares, you can refer to your eight seven sheet sheet all the way here at the bottom. Hold on, I can't get it to show. <clears throat> here's a list of all the squares, friends. And then here's a list of all the variable squares. Basically, um, you just have to be an even exponent to be a perfect square. All right. So let's take a look back at our questions here. So we have x squared minus 49. So x squared is indeed a square. 49 is indeed a square. And then it's a minus in the middle. So you're okay. Okay. X squared plus, right away, plus sign. Nope, it's got to be a difference. So that's a fail right there. So this would be a no. 16x squared minus 36y squared. Let's see. 16 is a square. X squared is a square. 36 is a square. Y squared is a square. And there's a minus in the middle. It meets all the criteria. That one's okay. X squared minus 88. Your square, your minus, sorry, 88. You're not on the list. So you fail. So this is going to be a no. X squared minus 36, square, square, and a difference. You count. Uh-oh, X to the third power. Nope, you are not a square, sorry. So this one's gonna be a no. Oh, by the way, this one's okay, I forgot to say that. All right, friends, that's about it. That's how you spot a difference of two squares. It literally must be a difference of two items that are squares. Again, if you need help, Go to your 8-7 cheat sheet. There's a list of squares and square variables. Otherwise, we'll see you in class.